It's news time. Information is power. The current, the news headline. Buari tells military what to do to bandits. Primates are your daily. Issues fresh prophecy. The news in full. Worried by persistent attacks by bandits in communities across Niger state, President Muhammad Buari has directed that the armed forces of Nigeria begin a major military operation aimed at uprooting the terrorists. In the latest directive, Buari said that they should apply force in their strategic operations. Daily Post, however, gathered that the directive may not be unconnected with security reports reaching the presidency indicating the incessant attacks on communities by bandits may be as a result of remnants of Boko Haram terrorists who are fleeing theaters of war, particularly in the northwest and northeast part of the country. A statement by Gaba Shew, senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity, confirmed the issuance of the directive on Sunday in Abuja. Primate Ayodele issues fresh poll uh, prophecy where the leader of the Inri Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Elijah Ayodele, on Sunday released another prophecy concerning Kenya presidential election, which will hold in August 2022. Primate Ayodele said that the vice president of Kenya, William Ruto, is already sleeping, and if the election is conducted today, Raila Odinga will win, but with a very slim margin. In a statement by his media aide, Osho Uluatusin, the media, the man of God, explained that the government of the day want to back the candidacy of Ralia Odinga and except Ruto works other, it will be eased out of the election technically because already there is an alliance to fight him. The man of God urged Ruto to still work elaborate more on his manifesto and re-strategize immediately. You know, say that he would release Mazin and Dekano when he has not realized that what he, he did was wrong and that uh, no political solution will be addressed uh, or can be used saying that uh, he would actually you know allow the legislative uh, the judiciary rather to do their work because one thing that one of his um, arm that he respects and does not want to interfere into is the judiciary those people of biafra leader mazen abdekanu while speaking abuba kamalami made it known that the president will continue to consider the interest of over 200 nigerians before he can think of releasing Mazen Abdekanu. It could be recalled that the former aviation minister, Mbazuli Amici actually went with the elders of the Southeast to meet President Muhammad Buhari, you know, for to seek the release of uh, in Abdekanu. However, it is think uh, it, 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 it was actually said, you know, by the Atom General Federation as a then that a political solution can actually, you know, foster the release of Mazen Abdekanu. But now uh, it is think uh, it, it is obvious that the Abubakar Malami has a vital point here that the interest you know of Nigerians you know uh, should be considered first before doing anything, and then these IPO members are truly you know Nigerian citizens, and their interest as well should be considered because if it can happen to Mazin Abdekanu, it can happen to anybody. And the interest of Nigerians you know must truly be considered first. But nevertheless, you know one has to still chill and wait to see what uh, will happen in this year 2022 as the indigenous people of Biafra had actually said that Mazen and the Kanu must be released this year. Challenges. Kanu stated that the action of the defendants on a solitary confinement is inhumane, degrading and constitutes a breach of section 34 of the 1999 constitution. He wants the courts to declare that the respondents while carrying out their duties are to abide by Chapter 4 of the 1999 Constitution. Kano is praying the courts to declare that he is entitled to the enjoyment of his rights to dignity of human person as enshrined under Section 34 of the 1999 Constitution. He also wants the courts to order the respondents to immediately allow him to uh, appoint legal practitioners and medical personnel of his choice from any government or spitzel to review his health file. Khan equally wants the court to direct his movement from solitary confinement to where he would be allowed you know, to pray and practice his faith unhindered in line with constitutional provisions. And this was the uh, agitation of Mazin Abde Khan, who is at the DSS facility, saying that he, you know, after the court had said that 
he be allowed to be uh, to, to to be in the DSS facility with enough attention and comfortability, and he should be given everything needed there. And uh, sees that in the in, in, in the suit filed by his lawyer, Maxwell Okwara, sees before the High Court that he still like he still denied uh, of food and medical care, clothes of his choice, and tries to practice his religion. Also seeing that uh, Mazina Dekanu claimed that the doctor that has been attended to him is a quack doctor and not experienced. After I read the report in Tribune newspaper where the Igbo state governor said this, I thought it would be nice to take a look at the present situation of the country to know if Ob Uzodema is right by that statement. Despite COVID-19 pandemic, Nigerian was able to come out of the recession. Oh, Uzodema believes that Buhari has done well by moving the country out of the recession. Despite the COVID-19 pandemic that was uh, ravaging the whole country. But some people will disagree with Uzodema because the cost of living is high, which is a clear sign that people cannot feel the impact of the recession which the country has exited. For example, the cost of cooking gas has tripled and the value of Naira is reducing by day. Also, many Nigerians are beginning to wonder how things will be if the federal government removes subsidy by the middle of next year. In addition, the insecurity in northern Nigeria has made it impossible you know, for farmers to go to the farm and the consequence is an increase in food commodities like onion, jam and tomato. I want to believe that Hope Uzodim made a political statement because ordinary Nigerians who are battling hardship will disagree with him that Nigerians are happy with the president. People are joining the APC. What some people will ask is if joining the APC is a yardstick to measure the rate at which people are happy with the president. Uzodim forgot that ordinary Nigerians who struggle by day are after survival and not political power. It is common sense to say that people who joined the APC are this time looking ahead of the 2023 general election. While Uzodema is entitled to his opinion, I doubt if ordinary Nigerians who are complaining of the high cost of living will agree with him that people are happy with President Muhammad Buhari and that is why the APC is welcoming new members. This may be outrightly wrong, seeing that the people are joining APC because they are happy with President Muhammad Buhari looking at the adverse effects of the COVID-19 pandemic and also the clear sign of impact of the recession which the country had just exited where the cost of food, gas and many others are just so high that uh, Nigerians are beginning to wonder if the federal government you know, uh, would actually increase yet again, uh, remove yet again the subsidy and the adverse effects on the Nigerian populace. Next Saturday to witness the presentation of a classic book written by Governor O. Uzodema. The book titled Reflections on the Igbo Question is a bold attempt to situate the marginalization of Indibo in Project Nigeria and how to best how best to overcome it. Thanks for listening and that is the news.